This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. Donations are starting to come in for a Chandler family after a fire destroyed their home. You don't expect neighbors that you've never spoken to to hand you blankets, give your kids clothes, give you f shoes to put on your feet. So we're forever grateful for the people in the community. This happened on Saturday night near Hunt Highway and Cooper Road. We're told seven people lived in the home when someone started banging on the door to get out. The fire destroying almost everything inside and the vehicles parked outside. Now everyone was able to get out safely. Chandler Fire is investigating what sparked the blaze in the first place. Tepe Town Lake remains closed as SRP continues to release water from its res reservoirs upstream. There's a dragon boat festival forced to postpone over the weekend. More than 2000 competitors were planning to compete at Tepe Town Lake. It was a little heartbreaking, but it, it is what it is. Um, that's something we can't avoid. Mother Nature decided to happen. When we first got here, actually, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I have to say Thursday, there was a lot of debris. A new date for the festival will be announced in the coming days. Tippy says they're monitoring the lake daily to determine when to reopen. Short term rentals are a big topic right now, and today the city of Flagstaff wants community feedback on a proposed ordinance and licensing plan. The ordinance would require homeowners to have a license to have a short term rental within city limits, as well as provide emergency contact information. Several Valley cities have adopted similar rules. Today's open house is at 530 at City Hall. Travel plans are at its peak. Now a lot of prep work goes into traveling, but there's one thing you don't want to skip, making sure your home is safe while you're away. It's all new this morning. Consumer reporter John Matarese looks at no cost steps to take before traveling so you don't waste your money. As you head to the airport or hit the highway for your spring or summer vacation this year, the last thing you want to do is leave behind a house that's easy to break into. These officers are checking a home for a family heading out of town. I recommend checking your doors to make sure they're locked. Sergeant Tim Schmidt Gosling is amazed at how many people forget to lock back doors. And as you can see, this door is unlocked. Or close their second floor windows that burglars love. So right here. You can see there's a window open, and that might be in a room they don't really use much and not realize that that's open. Sergeant Schmidt Gosling says make sure your outdoor lights and cameras, if you have them, are all working. He says trim back bushes that block windows. If it's overgrown, it's going to cover that window, which gives people the capability to hide behind it and break into your house. And slide the security lock on your garage door. But most garage doors have a secondary lock. Uh, we would recommend locking that as an added security as well. Even if you're lounging at the beach or visiting the happiest place on earth, Kevin Brassler with Consumer's Checkbook says it's always a good idea to make it look like someone's home. Having lights on, have music playing or a TV blaring or, or whatever. He says the key is to keep up appearances. So ask the post office to hold your mail and have a neighbor pick up any packages and move your trash pails. Sometimes burglars will see, oh, you know, it's trash day and that one house, they didn't put their cans up by the curb. Also be mindful of where you hide spare keys. They're easier to find than you think. I've spoke to a lot of contractors over the years and they've said, you know, we're always finding spare keys when we're doing work. And before you go, I would say start by contacting your local police department. And ask if they do courtesy checks like this one. That way you can enjoy your vacation and you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris. Make your lunch plans at Jersey Mike's for the annual Day of Giving on Wednesday. 100% of your purchase goes to help local charities. That means every dollar in sales, not just the profit, help a good cause. All you have to do is buy lunch or dinner to donate at your favorite Jersey Mike's location. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to ABC15.com or download that free ABC15 mobile app. This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford.